SpaceX was founded in 2002 by American entrepreneur Elon Musk, but Musk had an interest in space from a young age. He enjoyed science fiction books and believed that he would one day build spaceships to extend the reach of the human race. Musk's entry into the space industry started with a donation of $100,000 to the Mars Society, a non-profit organisation that pushes for the human exploration of Mars. He gave a talk at one of its first conventions to talk about his project of Mars Oasis, which aimed to land a greenhouse on Mars to grow plants. In early 2002, Musk famously tried to purchase an old intercontinental ballistic missile from Russia, accompanied by Michael Griffin, but was laughed at and turned down. On their flight home from Russia, Musk decided to build his own rockets instead, and build an affordable launch service and decrease the cost and improve the reliability of access to space. Soon after, Musk started to look for employees. The first notable employees that he hired were Gwen Shotwell, SpaceX's current president, famous American engineer Tom Mueller, Chris Thompson, vice president of operations, and Michael Griffin, who had accompanied Musk to Russia. When Griffin was later appointed as NASA administrator, he awarded SpaceX $278 million before they'd even launched any rockets. By the end of 2005, SpaceX had 160 employees, all personally interviewed by Musk. Falcon 9 was SpaceX's first rocket design, a single-use two-stage small-lift vehicle. The reported development cost of Falcon 1 was between $90 million and $100 million. The first three Falcon 1 launches were purchased by the United States Department of Defense and launched between 2006 and 2008, all failed before reaching orbit. After the first three failed launches, SpaceX and Musk had to scrape together enough money for the fourth flight, which successfully reached orbit on the 28th of September 2008, leading to them being awarded the first CRS International Space Station resupply contract worth $1.6 billion, which was enough money to keep SpaceX running after the financial struggles of the Falcon 1 flights. Falcon 1 successfully launched one more time in July 2009 before retiring to allow SpaceX to start testing and development of their next vehicle. At first, they wanted to follow in the footsteps of the Falcon 1 and create a small vehicle, the Falcon 5, a low-cost, two-stage liquid oxygen and kerosene-powered vehicle, but later decided to create the Falcon 9, a reusable and heavy-lift vehicle. NASA invested $278 million into the Falcon 1 by buying several flights if SpaceX demonstrated certain capabilities during its test flights. The first of these test flights launched in June of 2010. On board was the Dragon Spacecraft Qualification Unit, a non-functioning prototype of the Dragon capsule, which tested the vehicle shape and mass. The prototype finally launched on the maiden Falcon 9 on June 4, 2010, on a 22-day mission in low Earth orbit and re-entered Earth's atmosphere on the 27th of June after 11 days of the launch from September 2009. Before this first flight took off, extensive testing of all the components took place to ensure the overall success of the mission. The nine Merlin engines and the second stage were tested in McGregor, Texas, known for its regular rocket engine tests of the current Falcon 9s and Raptor engines. The first functioning and operational Dragon spacecraft was launched on the COTS Demo Flight 1. The main testing objectives for this flight were orbital manoeuvring and the successful re-entry and splashdown of the capsule, and to fix the unplanned role of the first stage that happened during the first flight. The COTS mission was part of the contract given to SpaceX by NASA in August of 2006, and was for orbital transportation services to demonstrate ISS resupply. The mission launched on the 8th of December 2010, once the capsule reached orbit, it carried out a list of tests, completed two orbits and then splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, successfully being recovered 20 minutes later. This capsule can now be seen behind the launch commentators at the Hawthorne, California headquarters. After this flight, SpaceX focused on their production line and achieved the manufacturing goal of one Falcon 9 and crew capsule every three months. In April 2011, NASA awarded SpaceX another $75 million for the second round of the commercial crew development program for SpaceX to integrate a launch escape system into the Dragon capsule in preparation for the capsule to become crew rated. By 2012, SpaceX was valued at $1.3 billion and in May of the same year, began the first commercial company to deliver cargo to the International Space Station and then began reusability testing in late 2012. SpaceX's rapid growth after its ISS docking was unprecedented, with its valuation doubling and being awarded nine contracts after its first mission for a private customer in 2013. The company's capabilities and low cost began to disrupt the market for American high security payloads, which for a long time was dominated by United Launch Alliance. In late 2014, NASA awarded SpaceX yet another contract, the Commercial Crew Transportation Capability, 
which included an uncrewed test flight, a crewed test flight and six operational missions after crewed certification had been completed. SpaceX's growth continued through 2015 with the raising of $1 billion from Google and Fidelity in exchange for 8% of the company, raising the valuation to nearly $12 billion before it had even begun to launch crew. Soon after the raising of money from Google and Fidelity, they announced the creation of the Starlink constellation, aiming to provide internet to 60 countries around the world. First Starlink launch took place in 2019 aboard a Falcon 9 and currently has around 5,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, a thousand more than originally planned. Falcon 9 had been unusually successful in its early days with no total mission failures until June 2015 when the CRS-7 resupply mission to the International Space Station exploded two minutes into flight during max Q, where the vehicle experienced the point where the largest amount of aerodynamic stress is exerted on the vehicle. SpaceX landed an orbital class booster for the first time in December 2015 and then later in 2016 they achieved their first drone ship landing after many attempts as you can see in this humorous video from the SpaceX media team. In 2017, SpaceX first reflew one of their boosters for the launch of the SES-10 satellite. After the mission and the booster landed, it became the first twice-landed orbital class booster. Today, the most amount of times a single booster has landed and reflown is 19 and climbing. The second time Falcon 9 had a major failure was during the AMOS-6 mission static fire, famously known for having connections to Facebook. SpaceX then had to pause launches for around four months while they repaired the launch pad and determined the cause of the failure. SpaceX carried on raising money for its mission, gaining another $350 million in mid-2017, upping its valuation even more to $21 billion. SpaceX continued its launches and by 2018 had launched 100 times, making SpaceX the leading global commercial launch provider, a huge milestone for the team. On February 6, 2018, SpaceX launched their first Falcon Heavy rocket, becoming the world's most powerful rocket up until the first Starship launch from SpaceX in 2023. Falcon Heavy was a hugely inspirational mission for so many people. The first Falcon Heavy launch took Musk's old Tesla Roadster into a heliocentric orbit. During this launch, they completed the first ever double booster landing, with the two side boosters coming back to the SpaceX landing zones. In 2019, SpaceX had to lay off approximately 10% of its employees to help finance Starlink and its new Starship program. Watch this little excerpt from my video all about the Starship program here. Which type, nicknamed Starhopper, first flew in late July of 2019. The launch mount began construction in July of 2020. The SpaceX launch tower that we all recognise today completed stacking in July of 2021. After SM prototypes stopped flying, SpaceX began to build ground support equipment tanks, cryo shells and Starship Ship 20 and Booster 4. On the 6th of August 2021, Ship 20 and Booster 4 became the first fully stacked Starship and Super Heavy booster. Then, on April 20th, 2023, the first fully integrated test flight took off, 16 years after SpaceX first began looking for a potential launch site. Since SpaceX moved into the area, jobs in Boca Chica have had a giant influx and tourism has risen substantially, bringing more business and money into the once small town. I'll leave a link to the whole video in the description. SpaceX reached a $36 billion valuation in March of 2020, two months before its first human spaceflight. Crew Dragon Demo 2 was the first time SpaceX launched humans into space and to the International Space Station. Demo 2 launched on May 30th, 2020 and took Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley to the ISS for a 62-day mission and splashed down successfully on the 2nd of August 2020, one of the biggest milestones so far for the company. Since the Demo 2 mission in 2020, SpaceX has not stopped launching and innovating, with another round of money raising at the beginning of 2021, bringing in $1.9 billion from 99 separate investors, raising the company valuation even more to $74 billion, and by the end of 2021, the valuation was just over $100 billion. In April 2021, SpaceX won the Human Landing System contract for the Artemis mission to land the first woman and person of colour on the moon in the coming years. Another round of financing occurred in 2022, bringing the valuation of the company up to $127 billion. In 2023, SpaceX held the world record holder for the most launches of a single vehicle in a year, with a total of 96 launches. SpaceX took back the title of the world's tallest and most powerful rocket in April of 2023, with the launch of Starship from Starbase, Texas. 
SpaceX broke their own record for the world's tallest rocket just a few months ago by stacking Starship and Super Heavy with the addition of the newly designed hot staging ring. To date, SpaceX has launched 303 times, landed 261 times, and had 235 booster reflights, with a build facility in California, a testing facility in Texas, the SLC-40 launch pad, soon to launch crew, historic launch complex 39A, Space Launch Complex 4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California and Starbase in Texas. Since SpaceX was created back in 2002, they have revolutionized the way satellites and people are put into orbit and soon to revolutionize how humans are sent to other planets in our solar system. SpaceX has big plans, I can't wait to see what they do next. Choose of my dreams, right? 